All right, guys, what's up? This is a PS3 tutorial video for you. This is for the uh, 450 custom firmware, beginnings. And uh, here we are with the uh, Fur, uh, well, the Fur Rocks uh, 450 uh, version 1.00 custom firmware. File I'm going to have you download is right here. It's the Fur Rocks uh, underscore 450 underscore 100.pup. Simply, what you're going to have to do is plug in your USB stick that you use for your installation of custom firmwares and your installation of package files and so forth and just open up the files to view those folders on the root of the USB drive you're gonna have to make a folder called PS3 in all capital letters double click on that and open it up inside that folder you're gonna have to make an update folder all capital letters again and then open that up and then inside here is where you're gonna be putting your custom firmware file so let me just delete this one here real quick. Alright. Now take the one that you have downloaded before your fur fox right here. And copy that to the USB. Allow that to copy over. And then we're going to be renaming the custom firmware. Now all of you know uh, the 4.46 custom firmware, there is a spoofer out for that to make it appear that you are on uh, 4.5.0 firmware, uh, but again use that at your own risk. If you're interested in that, I have videos on that on my channel, so go check that out. But that's pretty much it, and this is just the all basic custom firmware update so that you can get on with uh, whatever custom firmware you're running. Alright, so once that copies over, we're going to leave the .pup and we're going to call this PS3 updat. So P S3 in all capital letters U P D A T. PS3 updat.pup and hit enter. Windows 8, you might not have the .pup extension there, so bear fair warning with that. Now once you have that, you have the PS3 updat.pup in the update folder. The update folder is in the PS3 folder, and the PS3 folder is on the root of the USB stick that you're going to be using. So, I'll meet you guys at the PS3, and we'll install this custom firmware. So, let's go do that. Alright, so here we are at the PS3, and simply what you're going to do is you're going to take your USB and plug it into the far right USB port. And, um... And then you're going to go to System Update, and then Update via Storage and Media, and it will scan and you will find the uh, the 450 PS3 up that. So click X on that. And it will copy it to the system and allow it to do so. Now, this is a CEX based custom firmware, so this will only be installed on CEX based custom firmwares. You can install it from uh, 355 official firmware and uh, anything higher than that on custom firmware. So if you have a 355 custom firmware to 4.46 CEX based custom firmware, you can install it there. This is not a jailbreak for 4.50. So don't try and install this on official firmware 4.50 because it's not going to do anything. So there you go. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what else I can say. But still, I'll get comments saying, oh, is this a jailbreak for 4.5? No, you idiot. I just said it's not. So just listen, and uh, we won't have to deal with the stupid problem. So, copy to the system. And then after that, you're just going to wait. System will kind of cold boot, and then it will ask you to press the PS button, like I'm doing here. And, uh,. Checking for the update data has been copied over, and then just let it install the update. So, uh, come on. Uh, there we go. Alright, and I'll be back after the installation has been completed. Well, around 90%, I'll come back on. Alright, so PS2 is booting back up now. And we should be on for Fox. Yay! Any day now, PS3. Come on. Here we go. Sorry if I sound like I'm dying. But, uh, I'm a, I'm a little sick at the moment. Alrighty. So. You know, the basic stuff comes up. 
and uh, all that fun jazz. I'll log in here. And, yes indeed, we're on 450. There's proof right there, it says PSN to the PlayStation Network. And uh, the install package files and the app home PC game is all there. And that's pretty much it. Now there are updated versions of Multiman, and I will be making videos on them shortly as well as other 450 custom firmware. So I hope you enjoy your custom firmware. Rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Check out my website, software-reborn.com. And follow me on Twitter at DeathRain333. And check out my Google blog forms, which is electronics and software. All the links are on my channel. Feel free to donate for more materials. And stay tuned for more tutorials for the PS3 scene before the PS4 comes out. So I'll talk to you guys later. And enjoy your Ferox. 4.50 custom firmware.